from. It's um, it's been a while. <laughs> Let me just do my announcements and whatnot. Um, and then yeah, gonna be playing some finals. And yeah, I got the Skypad four. in my Discord as well. And yeah, let me know how the audio is. Let me know how the stream looks. I haven't like properly tested. <laughs> Thank you, Iko and s 6roll for the follows. Oh my god, okay, I might have to turn off the noise. Wait, there we go, okay. I got this alert set up just for streaming again. <laughs> oh my god, hello everyone. <laughs> Thanks for the follows, uh, Senexman and Season. Um, sorry if I sound a bit off. I'm not too well today, but yeah, felt like streaming. <laughs> I might have to turn off this follow alert. This is ridiculous. <laughs> oh, it's so cute though. <laughs> Thanks for the follows. Emi AEC, Emiya CS2, JAC, Speedo, Fortnite Bob, Hilly 10. Oh my god, oh my god. <laughs> okay, wait, how do I turn the sound off? How do I turn the sound off? <laughs> uh, edit alerts, visuals and sound. Volume zero, save. As much as I like the sync, it's still going. It's still going. <laughs> I don't know what that noise was. <laughs> Hello everyone. Thanks for the follows. Sin, Raphael, um, Monorol, Mango and Grim, thank you for the sub. That must be what that noise was. <laughs> thank you. Well, I hope now that the noise is disabled, it'll be a bit more manageable. <laughs> it's so cute, but yeah. It's still there. <laughs> You try Sora V2? Yeah, I have the Sora V2. I really like it. It's honestly really, really impressed me. I wasn't, I don't know, maybe this is rude. I don't know if my expectation's too high, but it's really good. Um. Where did the bands come from for all the peripherals? Some of them are gifts from uh, companies and review copies and stuff like that, uh, but a lot of it is just my own money. Um, I reinvest everything I make doing this into uh, my channel in one way or another, whether that's like peripherals, the test, or uh, things like that. I, I try and reinvest everything I make into my channel. Thanks for the follows. Kitchen Knife, Santa Claus, Winter, Snow Lot, Drum F, and Furo. Hello. <laughs> I need to figure out how to turn off this follow noise. I'll, I'll do it after this game. <laughs> it's the beast type YouTuber. Oh, is that what he does? That makes a lot of sense, actually. Ow. <laughs> Stream lagging for anyone else. Okay, yeah, I have not streamed in a long time. Let me know if it's bad. I can I can try and fix my settings. Um, and yeah, 
I I probably should have done like a test stream or something, but I didn't. Not lagging, not lagging. Okay, thank you. Thank God. <laughs> thank you all. Um OP1 AK is what I'm on right now. Uh, have cat. It's so good. I have mice to like test to make videos on and stuff, but like, I don't know. <laughs> I love it. I love this mouse. It just feels better in terms of performance than like anything else there is at the moment. And like, it's been a long time since I felt that in a mouse. Just like a performance diff, you know? Expand the chat upwards. Um, thanks for the follows. K2A, Roxy Love, Firo, and Suzuk. I think that's all the ones. And uh, Bino, I think. I think that's how you say it, Bino. <laughs> <clears throat> I have OP1 AK and I don't know. I'm on 2K right now because I get, um, I get stutters in this game on AK. It's this game and Apex that I can't use 8K on. And that's it. Like every every other game, I can use 8K and it's it's flawless. Feels great. <clears throat> A big thing about the OP1 AK that I really like though is that its latency benefits are like still present in 1K. Goodness, what was that noise? I need to turn off all these sounds. I don't know what they are. <laughs> oh, LG, thank you. Thank you so much. And I think, yeah, hype train, okay. <laughs> I don't know what that means, but thank you. And yeah, thanks for the sub, LG. Is there a big difference from 1K to 4K? I plan on making a video like talking about this. I think so. Personally, I think it does make a difference. Um, I did a blind test actually. Uh, when my girlfriend was over, I got her to... I hear you. <laughs> when my girlfriend was over, I got her to um, like change it randomly and I was able to tell every time between one game and four game. And she like jump scared me by putting it on... God damn it. <laughs> um, by putting it on uh, 500 and I caught that out too and I can't remember if I got 2k compared to 4k but I wasn't expecting 2k. <laughs> Your game is really loud. Okay let me fix. I think it's more so just that I'm really quiet but that's all right. <gasps> I love the follower gift. Thank you. It's it's my favorite. I love it um, but this noise is gonna drive me a little bit mad. I need to fix it. <laughs> Thanks for the follows. Uh, friend. Ren Sita, Wake Up Goku, Slime, and Swans. Thank you. We couldn't hear your story. Uh, yeah, so when my girlfriend was over, I got her to... Um, it's still really loud, isn't it? Hang on. Oh, it's really quiet. Yeah, so I got her to change the polling rate between... Uh, I just said 1k and 4k. But she, like, surprised me by putting it on 500 and 2k hertz. Um, and yeah, I caught out when it went to 500 and I got every single time between 4k and 1k. So, I, I definitely can tell the difference in a blind test. And I pretty consistently did better with, um, with 4k. But I haven't, like, you know, collected data, done a graph. It was just, we were curious, so we wanted to test it out. Is he in the church? Yes. Okay. Yeah, and actually with this mouse, I had one day where I'm like, oh, my game feels really sluggish. I wonder what's going on. Um, and then, you know, 
after a bit I decided to check my polling rate and sure enough it was on 1k, so... I wish I had my guns for him. I want to get this guy on top of here, he's annoying. Have you changed the switches? Yeah, I'm using the lightest ones, the 50 to 55. Um, I really like light switches, <laughs> especially for like dynamic tasks, uh, or static and Kovacs. Clicking, it just feels really good. And yeah, the implementation is great here. Feels great. What rank you in the finals? I haven't played ranked. I don't want to ruin this game for myself by taking it seriously. So I've just been like, I don't know, playing casual modes with friends. <laughs> Mission sync on or off? This is a tough question <laughs> uh, because it all depends on the implementation of it. Uh, one thing I will say though is that very like very few companies will get that implementation uh, correct, and it's better most of the time to have it off. I could have it on for the OP one because I'm I'm confident and Game Gear implemented it well, but I don't because. I don't know why I don't really. I just don't. <laughs> uh, yeah, you can buy a switch pack for the OP1 Dark, and it has all of their little uh, custom switches that they offer. Is that my teammate? Okay. <laughs> Killed my teammate. There's an invis around me, I can hear him. There he is. Will there be a VOD for this? Yeah, I'll leave it up and I'll probably repost it to my second channel. <clears throat> I did say I would, didn't I? <laughs> I did say the second channel would be for stream VODs, so... <laughs> probably should use it for what it's for. <laughs> that should kill him, I think. He comes back. No? Oh, I'm so dead. Okay. <laughs> I had to go. I'm currently debating if you have a few. Yeah, no worries. I, I have no regrets about my purchase. I just got the, the lightest ones. And yeah, really like them. Okay, I'm going to fix this notification noise. <laughs> Thanks for the follows. Uh, cool Cheese, Desire, uh, Shetsu, and... Sabaru. Hello. <clears throat> and welcome. I um I didn't realize that all of these alerts had like sounds tied to them. <laughs> I had no idea. Um sorry if you want your <laughs> your follow alert with sound, get it now. <laughs> Oh my gosh. <laughs> um, okay, are they all quiet? They've... I don't know if it's obvious, I don't know what I'm doing. <laughs> I haven't streamed in so long, and back when I did like stream last, I didn't have alerts set up or anything like that. Um, so I've just got this little cat guy set up, but I didn't realize there was a volume for like all of it. <laughs> still going, still got sound. Oh, I probably have to restart my stream, don't I? <laughs> Thanks for the follow, <laughs> LG56. <laughs> Mm 
Grant, uh, Coco Katana, Sahoda, and 23 Echo. Thank you for the sub. Hey, Candy, I bought a mouse. Hello. You can mute alerts without restarting. I've, I've. <laughs> Okay, I don't know what's going on. Okay, I found the game too fast. I've set it to mute, uh, but it hasn't muted, so <laughs> who knows? Um, okay, I'm going to use this time while I'm loading. Um, does anyone have any questions about the Skypad 4? I've used it for a couple days now admittedly i've only played like a few hours of fps's on it i've been taking a bit of a break i, I played uh through new vegas for the first time which is really fun but um yeah any questions about the sky platform do you think it is better um i'm using the obsidians just the normal um what do I hate about the 4.0? It's too fast, <laughs> straight up. I have two copies. I was sent one pre-release and I bought one. Uh, they are both final versions. There shouldn't be any difference between the two, um, but there is a difference, which is really weird. This one here is the fast one. So this one is really smooth to the touch. Um, really like quiet. It's much quieter than the 3.0. Um, which is really nice, but it's it's so fast that like anything outside of tracking, um, I really struggle to to aim on. That's why I'm playing this game because <laughs> it's mostly tracking. So, <laughs> the difference thing I don't trust. Um, the short answer is that we don't know um, if everyone's copies are the same because, like I said, I got um, I got two, um, sent one, bought one, and they're just different. <laughs> um, and you know, if you've been paying attention to uh, reviews about the pad, you've had some people saying that they really like it for Valorant because it's a bit rougher, it's got a bit more texture, a bit more control. Um, and you've got some people uh, saying that, you know, it's way faster. I know Jaku in his review said it was too fast for him to use. I'm kind of feeling the same. <laughs> um, I will uh, have some, you know, friction tests done by the time uh, I make my video about it. But yeah, like like those kind of strokes, I really struggle to be like smooth on with this pad. I will say though, no regrets. I got a new CPU recently. No regrets. 250 FPS while streaming without a streaming PC on this game feels so nice. Oh god. No way, I killed that guy. <laughs> thanks for the sub, Adia GG. And thanks for the follows, Red Wolf Oni. And I have $5 right now, not gonna lie. <laughs> um, I got the 50, no, 7800 X3D. And yeah, love it. <laughs> love it, it's so good. <laughs> oh, I was reading chat. I'm gonna die now. <laughs> Yeah, no, I, I, I think so too, especially for the price. Like, I was looking at the, um, I forget which one it was, but there's a 7900 with a 3D, like, Vcash. And I was thinking of getting that one, but this one was just so cheap and still so good. Oh, there's two. Oh god. Uh, 
What does it get with that one? I know you can get 200 FPS on that CPU, but it depends on your DPU. And, you know, how well you've optimized it and stuff. But you can get 200 on that one. Lower performance. Yeah, I saw that, which was odd. And, like, you know, I, I probably spend more time working on videos than I do playing games at the moment. Um, so I wouldn't have minded, like, slightly lower performance for... That was bad. Uh, slightly lower performance for, like better video editing but it's just so much more money and I just I couldn't justify it to myself you know <laughs> if this works it's loud come on oh it was too slow <laughs> Impossible to aim like this for a tank liar. No. <laughs> that will never not be like the funniest phrase ever. Fraud tank. I love it. This game's optimized for cool. I've had the opposite experience to be honest. I used to have a uh, 5900 and I did hear that it was something about like how that CPU was made specifically. Uh, but the finals was not utilizing it at all. I was getting like 140 FPS um, on a CPU that like, you know, should not get 140 FPS on this game. Uh, where should someone... hang on. <laughs> By the way, if I miss any questions, feel free to ask them again. I will miss them. I'm sorry. <laughs> um, but yeah, I do want to, you know, answer people's stuff. Uh, where should someone start when just getting into aim training? Am I natural mouse grip? Fingertip. Okay. Uh, mouse grip. I, I have been swayed to make a video about this because of how many questions I get about it. It doesn't really matter. It's one of those things where, like, you know, you can weigh up objective downsides and benefits to each mouse grip, but there is no objective best mouse grip, you know? Um, some people say fingertip is the best because it gives you the most range of motion and you can micro adjust. Um, a bit more fluidly with your fingertips but you know you're losing out on some of the stability of course so it's, it's always going to be a trade-off and it really just comes down to where you're willing to make those trade-offs uh, for me i use relaxed core it uh lets me get a lot of uh stability from like palm contact and I don't feel like I'm losing out on micros too much. I can just build them up with my wrist a little bit. Um... <laughs> Muscle amnesia. I thought that was a real question for a sec, LG, and I was, um, was going to be surprised. I didn't think I had any muscle memory believers anymore after that video. <laughs> Any casual games you've played that's not PvP? Um, I've been playing, yeah, Fallout New Vegas and I rebeat Prey, uh, the 2017 Prey. And that's honestly what I've been playing mostly recently. I haven't played FPS in like a week and a bit. <laughs> I've been taking some time off. Um, but yeah, no, it's been, it's been really fun and I've never played New Vegas before, which I was told was blasphemy and, um, you know, crime against humanity and all, all that stuff, so I had to give it a go. I kind of forgot I have recon. <laughs> the 4.0 worth I've been looking to buy one on a uh, 
like when you're looking at the Skypad 4 objectively versus the Skypad 3, um, you can look at things like it's larger for the same price, I think. I think it's the same price. Um, it has a silicon, I don't know what that was, silicon backing. So it will be quieter because like some of the sound is getting absorbed into that. It sticks on the desk better. It doesn't warp in the middle. Uh, some copies of the 3.0 uh, would dip a little bit in the middle. I know Clover's was bad to the point where it was like unusable. Um, and yeah, that is that has all been fixed. So I think objectively looking at it like that, you're getting better value for your money. But, um, you know, there's the Surface to contend with. I have heard so many different opinions about the Surface, and I have given different opinions about the Surface myself, you know. Uh, I mentioned this a bit ago, I own two of them. They're totally different. One of them is about the speed of, like, a Raiden Xsoft, and the other is the fastest mousepad I've ever used. <laughs> so it's, it's really hard to say anything concrete about this mousepad because I really don't know what is... Uh, normal and what is just variance between different copies um, and yeah that's the struggle I'm having at the moment trying to write my video about it oh, I don't know if I no I thought I had my bounce pad <laughs> thanks for the follows Payon Q uh, Lay FHH Trinidad and Laozera V1 Ulta, Little Uzi Flirt, <laughs> um, and Der Fazi, and Ryder PN, and thank you for the subs, uh, Reeson and Snowlot, thank you both, and thanks for all the follows everyone, I, I really do appreciate it, I wasn't expecting so many people, <laughs> I haven't, yeah, streamed in a long time, this is not what I was expecting, I gotta stop running into this team, they're ruining me. <laughs> Uh, if I had to go back to Cloth, what would you suggest? I think they, they don't like me very much. The emotes have got me. <laughs> um, if I had to go back to Cloth, what would you suggest? Considering you've been on, um, on Glass for a while, if I'm not mistaken. Uh, probably the Raiden. The Raiden's really good. Oh, it's this team again. I'm out. Screw this. I don't know. They're gonna chase me. No? Does reaction time have a big factor in reactive tracking? I would say it's two things. Uh, conditioning and familiarity. More so than raw reaction time. I'm not very fast. I have two uh, conditions which actually decrease reaction time pretty substantially. Uh, so I'm not like particularly quick. <laughs> Um, but I'm still doing fine and reactive. It's not a weakness of mine. And my tracking feels, you know, pretty good. I didn't want that team to win. Do you think I should wait until the purchase the full pointer? Um, I did a little poll on Twitter, 20% of, uh, I had like three options. Is your Skypad 4 faster or slower than your 3.0? And I had a one for like results. Um, I think what it was, was that 20% of people said it was faster, 10% said it was slower. So it's, it's a bit up in the air at the moment. Um, I don't really know if I can recommend it for that reason, especially because like, you know, I, I can say about my other copy, it's rougher, it's louder, it's scratchier, it's slower. If that sounds like something you like, awesome. Uh, but I cannot guarantee that you'll get that when you buy the Skypad 4. Like, you know, mine are fast. I would not use it in anything but this game pretty much. Even, I w I've played a bit of Apex recently. Even Apex is like a bit of a struggle, you know? <laughs> Hey Fork, welcome to the stream, cutie patootie. Uh, how long do you think it will take to become a great aimer if consistently I'm training doing the right things every day for an average of an hour a day? It really depends on your definition of great. 
um, you know, where do you kind of place that line? Where, where does a good player become a great one? Um, yeah, it's, it's hard to answer because it's all subjective. <laughs> Thanks for the follows, uh, Kilu Hardy and Fusion. And thanks for the sub unity. Thank you. Like I said, I, I cannot believe <laughs> how many people are here um, and how much support there's been. Thank you. Thank you all. I really do appreciate it. <laughs> um, especially when, you know, I don't have a schedule. I just kind of stream on a whim. So. <laughs> oh my God. <laughs> Thank you so much. I don't even know what to say to that. <laughs> Thank you so much. Well, welcome to the stream and thanks for the five gift subs, cutie patootie. Thank you. <laughs> Me and my friend Ruben love your stuff so, so much. Thank you. Hi to you and your friend Ruben. Ah, it's Easter again. Uh, there was a question before about the best place to start when, like, getting into aim training. I, I have to say Voltaic. I don't think anywhere else has assembled all of the information as comprehensively as Voltaic. And it's all free, you know? If you want anything specialized, then you'll have to pay for it. But all of the info is free, and I don't think, you know, there are many places that kind of offer that. <clears throat> Do you think Shinkai is worth if I had a Raiden? I think so. It's my favorite mouse pad. Um, and honestly, it's not really close. <laughs> like, it's a... Oh, no. I know what that noise was. What did you do, LG? <laughs> what did you do? <laughs> Oh, it's these people. What? Huh? <laughs> I'm speechless. What do I say to this? <laughs> I am absolutely speechless. Yeah, I think my sub goal was 25. I just got it just then. <laughs> Thank you so much. I bought a mouse, Imaya and LG. Thank you all. <laughs> no, okay, no, no more subs. This isn't allowed. No one is allowed to give any more subs. No one is allowed to gift any more subs. I'm not letting you. I don't know how to disable it. I'm not a good enough streamer, but I'm not going to let you gift any more. <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> no one is going 50. Don't go 50. Don't do it. <laughs> No, thank you all so much. I, I really don't know what to say. I could have never expected any any of this, really. It's just... Yeah, I can't believe it. Thank you so much, cutie potato. Thank you. You're not allowed. <laughs> I said you're not allowed. <laughs> okay. Sorry, LG, I want a mouse. I think you two have lost <laughs> the competition. <laughs> oh my god, I was not expecting this <laughs> at all. <laughs> Yep, that's enough. No more gifting is allowed. I've banned it.
Thank you so much. I, I really don't know what to say. No, not a hundred next. Don't give to hundred. I am not. I am not a consistent enough streamer to deserve a hundred gifted. Okay. I. I guess I have to stream more now, don't I? Oh, hello, Misty. gosh no thank you all so much really thank you <laughs> don't know what to say i really don't no i i will i will stream more this is my promise i will stream more than i have in the last uh three months <laughs> What's on Bebop? Say he's a furry. Um, okay, he's a furry. <laughs> I'll, I'll try my best, I'll try my best. I really do like this game and, you know, thinking about it, I feel pretty consistently good in this game, so I'm, like, confident enough to stream it. I'll, I'll do my best. <laughs> Hopefully that'll be repayment for this in some way. So you'll stream twice? Yeah, exactly. More than I did in the past three months. <laughs> have you ever tried the Hayate Q? I have a interesting opinion on this mouse pad. I think it's actually really good. Um, and I was going to make a video about it because I had... Um, I had a really nice title for it. The Artisan Mouse Pad Everyone Is Wrong About. Um, I think it's kind of misunderstood. People focus a lot on its um, like varying X and Y axis. Um, but they focus on the Y axis part of it, right? They're like, oh, it's so fast. You know, if you're aiming vertically, it'll be really good. But it has a slow X axis horizontally. Um, uh, it's really slow. It's Artisan's like first take on a control pad. Uh, is it not near under the mouse pad video? Yeah, it is. I, I talked about it there, but I think it deserves its own uh, video just because of yeah how many uh, people I see kind of misunderstanding it. I don't know how this guy isn't dead. There we go. <laughs> Can I DM you on Twitter? Uh, you can DM me on Discord about this. <clears throat> I would like to play some more Diabolical. I just didn't think it was possible. While tracking my intent to the shape of start with my mouse pad, typically to the right. Yeah, that makes, that makes sense to me somewhat, especially if you're right-handed, you're kind of extending out of your range of motion instead of in towards your body. Um, it can be, like, help with practice, but, I mean, I always have a bit of a shake when tracking. I'm a bit surprised no one's, like, called me on it. <laughs> um... Oh, that's my teammate. <laughs> but, yeah, I am always a little bit shaky. Uh, to work on it, though, um, yeah, practice, smoothness, um... I think I just got nuked. Oh, my teammate's right behind him! <laughs> There is one set of uh, benchmarks. I think it's called TSK Smoothness. They have uh, benchmarks going all the way up to like really, really, really good and, you know, starting at kind of beginner level smoothness stuff. Um, that helped me a lot, along with learning reactive tracking, actually, because for me, a lot of my shaking came down to like, I want to adjust back to a target, so I tense a little bit to adjust faster, uh, and then I'm tense, so I'm missing. <laughs> Um, and yeah, that, that was kind of a big, a big breakthrough point for me when I got good at, at scenarios like, uh, Grand Plaza, um, Grand Plaza Sparky V3 and like Air Voltaic, uh, 
name just clicks on the people. That's a hard one to answer. Um, Cause you know, uh, there are people with really, really good aim, like Snowy, who I, I wouldn't say they're very snappy. They wouldn't click on a people, um, but they're still really, really good. It could be a stylistic thing. Um, it could be um, a practice thing. I don't really know, you know, how much time you've put into practicing and stuff like that. So yeah, it could be either. Thanks for the follows, A Loki and Kid Curly. Thank you. And yeah, see, so yeah, Ethereal, thanks for stopping by. I appreciate it. Even at this, you know, weird hour for us Aussies. <laughs> thanks for the follow, Napa Fair. And yeah, welcome all the new viewers. I, um, I'm shocked how many people have turned up. Hello. <laughs> oh, my mouse command is wrong. If there's any mods in here, can you change it to be the OP1 8K? How do you have your hand cam set up? It is a Logitech um, C902 and I just have it like electrical taped to the top of my monitor. <laughs> it completely blocks out the top right corner. So if there's any useful info up there, I don't see it. <laughs> um, yeah. Is the... <clears throat> Is this an issue for the 4.0? Not as bad, no. Um, I don't have to like do this in between every gunfight anymore, which is nice. Um, it's still not great. And especially like, uh, it's very normal for skates to kind of accumulate a bit of fluff, I guess, around the bottom of uh, like their sides because the adhesive will stick out a little bit and then dust will collect on them. When that builds up, the mouse pad becomes unusable and I have to do this mid-game. <laughs> um, but besides that, it's it's not really too bad. And yeah, I'm I'm not using like a, a gaming sleeve right now. This is just my t-shirt. Um, I have to use something on this mouse pad, especially when it gets a bit warm in my room. Uh, on my other Skypad 4, I don't have to use any kind of sleeve because it's so textured that my arm doesn't stick. Um, and yeah, it's, it's why I say like overall the Skypad 4 is a better product and it's better value, but I don't know if I can recommend it because of its speed. <laughs> okay, campsite, that's actually not a bad idea. Manscaped, but it's for your mouse. Opening them up to new audiences, it's genius. Um, per call, I actually had the idea of making a mouse pad out of viscose fabric. Uh, it would be terrible. It would be really, really bad. But I thought it might be funny. <laughs> um, yeah, I never ended up, like, finalizing that or anything, but I thought it would be a fun little project. Um, yeah, I just haven't, like, pursued it yet, because I don't know how to make mouse pads. <laughs> I was gonna buy a mouse pad with a similar fabric to test, but they're only sold in Germany, uh, and it would cost me genuinely like sixty dollars to ship a five dollar mouse pad to me, <laughs> and I can't justify that. Um, but yeah, this this was an idea that I flicked into. An arm sleeve is a better idea though. I'll I'll grab like some viscose clothes that I own and turn it into a sleeve and see if it's any good. If it is, I might do it. It's just a bit awkward because I don't like use mass uh, arm sleeves myself, so I so happen to be in Germany next month. Okay, I might let you know what it is if I can find it again. Um, and then, yeah, you can let me know if it's like the worst thing ever or not. <laughs> God, my flicks feel so like, I don't know, I can't stop on this mouse pad. Do you all give me permission to ramble for a little bit about flick technique? <laughs> um, there is a thing I do when I flick, uh, where I apply a little bit of tension at the start and release it as I 
uh, continue the flip. And what that lets me do is have pretty good speed without too much shake at the end. Uh, which is, you know, obviously what you're battling when you're trying to flick fast. You're battling tension because tends too much, you shake. Tends too little, you're not fast. Um, but what I found that let me, what like releasing that tension mid flick let me do, is like have that speed and not shake too much. Um, but the problem on this mouse pad is that like even as I tense here and release it here. Um, that's still too much tension, so I'm still shaking at the end. <laughs> it's it's not like a... It punishes tension so much that it is not something you can utilize at all, basically. Uh, the static friction is so much lower than any other mouse pad I've tried. So you're trying to do physical... pretty much, pretty much. Uh, real, tense at the start of a flick, release tension at the end. Um, I never, like, thought about it. Like, it's not something I sat down consciously and I'm like, hmm, what's the best way to balance my tension for flicks? I just, um, Matty asked me to, uh, do a video, one of the aim secrets one, and I thought about it a little bit. And that was the answer I came to about, like, you know, how do I flick mechanically? Um, and... Yeah, it's, it's just not possible on this mouse pad, unfortunately. God, wait, is everyone? Um, I'm not using a wireless mouse at the moment because this wired mouse is just the best mouse ever made, pretty much. Um, it knocks everything out of the park for latency, feel, quality. Um, it's just the best. Um, and I'm willing to give up wireless uh, for those benefits. <coughs> Otherwise, yeah, I would probably use a uh, wire, wireless, yeah. Was oh, that a spoiler? I wouldn't say it's coming soon. I don't mind talking about it because it's a while off. <laughs> Do you use a bungee? Yes. I have that old uh, Razer mouse bungee. I got it years ago now. Okay, that's so good. <laughs> okay, one sec. My cat is screaming at me. Hang on. <laughs> oh, what on earth? Okay. <laughs> No, stop! <laughs> uh, would you recommend Skypad for forever? Absolutely not. <laughs> Absolutely not. Um, I tried it in Valorant. Um, and, like, I like fast mouse pads in Valorant. There's, again, another video I'm planning to make, haven't made it yet, about the kind of two schools of thought in tech FPS mouse pads. One is, like, you know, slow pad for uh, stability and uh, fast pad for uh, fluidity of micros, you know, stability versus fluidity trade-off. This pad is so far past that trade-off point that it is just not viable in my opinion. <laughs> um, I just do worse in Valorant or Counter-Strike when I play on this mouse pad, just straight up worse. There's no, there's no trade-off. I just killed that guy by mistake. <laughs> Ed, hope you've been well. I hope um, hope the recent videos have been fun to make. I, I know <laughs> uh, the advice I gave was probably a bit annoying of just like think really, really hard in pre-production. But I hope I hope it's been good. <laughs> um, final sense. Uh, what am I on? I don't remember. Here you go. This. At, uh, 1600 DK. <clears throat> uh, 
Um, good pad for Apex Legends. I struggled a little bit. I'd choose something with a bit more control, personally. Honestly, that's my answer always with this mouse pad. Like, I would pretty much always choose something with just, like, a little bit more control. Um, and another thing is that this pad has no give, obviously. It's a sheet of solid glass. Um, I like to press down into the mouse pad uh, when I aim, both, like, with my fingers and with, um, like, just physical force. <laughs> And I can't really do that. I can make my, like, I can have my fingers touch the mouse pad and it doesn't feel too well. Uh, it doesn't feel too bad. Or too well, I guess. That kind of works. I misspoke, but that's okay. <laughs> oh, hi, Kimbab. I hope you've been well. I hope the, the CS leagues are still going good. Oh, wait. I should do, um, I should do this, shouldn't I? There we go. Now it says I'm streaming on Discord, I think. That's it. <laughs> uh, do I have to be in this mode? No. Good night, T. John. Thanks for stopping by, and I'll, I'll chat to you about Diabolical. Um, hopefully soon. <laughs> I miss the shit in Kai. I want to get a new one eventually. Glass pads. I found the shit in Kai kind of viable in Counter Strike. It was not ideal, <laughs> um, but it was doable. It was definitely doable. I do prefer the zero though for CS. I put out a video on the SVBC plus. Hey, I'm glad it did well. I'm glad I got positive feedback. It's a good feeling, isn't it? <laughs> There's a mouse pad that's not super well known. I ordered, I'm considering making a review. Kind of scary. Yeah, definitely. I think, um, I think having like that knowledge that like, oh, anyone can click on my YouTube and watch my videos and hear me talk is, is pretty scary, right? Like, and you know, you put a bit of yourself into every video you make and it's a bit scary that people I don't want to, <laughs> don't want to know a bit of myself have that now. It's, it's a bit scary, but you know, what can you do? Um, it's, a trade off, and far, far, far more people are nice than mean. Season two is gonna be pretty. Yeah, no, I'm keen for season two. I, I still really enjoy this game. It's one of those ones that I can just like hop on, and I know I'll have a good time. <laughs> you know, if I'm you know having a bad day or something, and yeah, not feeling any other games, I can just hop on this, and I know it'll be fun. <laughs> um. I know I was playing with Massey yesterday. He called it his detox from Overwatch. <laughs> so he plays, plays Overwatch, tilts, <laughs> and then comes to this game. <laughs> Which I, honestly I think is pretty, pretty apt. <laughs> I, I feel similar. <laughs> Hello Panda Saitu. Thanks for the follows. Uh, Panda Saitu? Aiden, kebab on my taste buds, fast, Aza, QQQ, Jade Dit Waza, and Sicko. I think there's more. Have I said uh, Comp Nancy, uh, Hita, Sienza, Nafa Fair, Kid Curly? Thank you all. Thank you all so much. What else have you been playing lately? Fallout New Vegas. <laughs> I um I kind of burnt myself out on my last video and I've just been taking a break. No regrets though, it's been really fun. I haven't played that game before, so 
you know, got called a heathen and all that. <laughs> Been great videos are going well creatively speaking oh that's awesome that is awesome i'm really happy it held and yeah putting a lot of thought into kind of like the theming and your goals uh, with the video i don't know for me it just ends with the end product jesus christ ends with the end product being like way way better <laughs> it's it's been worth it every time i just put that little bit of extra effort in Do you hold the mouse at an angle tilt? I don't think so. No. <laughs> There's one team walking around. I see them both. They just both have nukes. <laughs> Envy is the only Fallout game I never got into. Yes, with a caveat. It is pretty different in terms of how you want to approach it to Bethesda Fallouts, in my opinion at least. Uh, for me, Bethesda Fallouts, the appeal was always like, I would walk around, I would go and see like a cool location, and then I would go to that location and like see what was going on there. You know, it was it was very uh, free form, I guess, is probably the best way to put it. Um, I didn't really follow the main story or the quests. I didn't really care about any of that. I just cared about, you know, exploring the world and getting a feel for it. Um, but with New Vegas, I wouldn't say its world design is worse. There's less going on in it and less interesting things like to see, but I wouldn't say that it's worse. But you're rewarded so much more for sticking a bit closer to the quest path, you know? The main story is a lot more compelling and the game actually reflects on your actions at the end of it, which was really cool and didn't really happen in like Fallout 3 and 4. Um, so yeah, you have to play it a little bit differently, but it's my favorite of the lot now, I think. Entered Envy with the same... Yeah, honestly, it's, it's why I think I never got into it at first either. I was... I was playing it like it was a Bethesda Fallout, but you kind of have to approach it as its own thing. Thanks for the sub, Sicko. Thank you. And Vincent, your mama. Thanks for the follow. Uh, is that? Yeah, it's the op 18 k Last stream. Yeah, it's been a while. I think. I think someone told me it was three months <laughs> since I'd streamed last, which you know, <laughs> professional streamer. I'm gonna make an effort to do it more. I really should. There was another question I missed. Your latest video is awesome. Shared to so many people. Oh, that's awesome. I honestly, like, the vids kind of underperformed from what I hoped, which I, I guess I can't be too shocked about. But it was a bit disappointing to see. But it's, you know, been made better by hearing... Like, so many people tell me that it got them to get back into aim training or, you know, rekindled their passion for it or things like that. It's just awesome. I'm, I'm so glad that I can, you know, share something that's helped me so much. Um, and yeah. Even though the video didn't, like, perform as well as I would have liked. Can't get everything and whatnot. <laughs> I'm dead to this turret, I think. Happy day stream all. Oh, that's good. Yeah, I I'm glad it's been nice. I, I, I really do struggle to stream because. You know, it's, it's putting myself out there in a way that's not <laughs> as curated as a YouTube video, I guess. <laughs> um, I had that, that was a teammate. Um, and yeah, it is, it is in, it, enjoyable and rewarding and I feel good after I do it, but like, God, it is tough to hit that go live button. <laughs> 
Have you been enjoying doing the coaching thing with Ant? I haven't really started yet. Um, I have one client who had to reschedule for personal reasons, so I haven't like properly began. And I don't want to pick up another client in case they come back and I have to at once and I'm not, you know, ready for it. My top priority will always be YouTube videos. And I want it to stay that way um, because I want to make this information accessible to anyone and I don't want to like gatekeep it behind a paywall. I want to put, you know, the majority of my effort into YouTube videos. Do they have Apex and coaching? Um, yes, but it's not like overly developed. It's mostly for tech FPS, honestly. Um, I had a look through the clients and it's mostly like Counter-Strike people, Valorant people. There were a couple Apex ones, um, which is what I'm honestly really excited to coach. Um, but yeah, there aren't many. Uh, Apex coaches. Have you played the new Apex season? Thoughts on it? I really like it. I, um, I'm still a bit burnt on the Battle Royale format overall, but like, damn, those are good changes, you know? I really like the armor changes. I really like the crafting changes. Um, I think they've taken the game in a really nice direction with the new season. Um, it's really good to see. Really good to see. <laughs> What's the next video? Um, I got to get it out pretty soon. So uh, it'll probably just be a comparison between the Skypad 3 and 4 and talking about some lesser known mechanics of glass mouse pads, I guess. Like, you know, they actually do wear down and how do skates interact with the mouse pad. And uh, I have my script somewhere. I could bring it up and have a look at what I've got written down. But yeah, something about uh, the Skypad 3 versus 4. And yeah, I want to use it to like dispel some rumors, add some clarity to the discussion behind glass mouse pads. At some point in the future, I'm gonna do a big glass mouse pad video, which will be really fun. Uh, Cause I'll get, I've tried so many. <laughs> I've tried Skypad 3, Skypad 2, Skypad 4, Serapad, Serapad Kin. Um, and I tried a bunch of glass infused ones like the Vansa Ice. I tried the Vansa Ace, which is like a similar kind of feeling. And I wanna just talk about all of those in a video and the question I want to attack there is, do faster mouse pads make your aim better? Because, you know, I hear a lot about the theoretical limit of aim and how to reach that. You have to use a faster mouse pad because the lower friction leads to less resistance on movements. So it's easier to aim. And I kind of want to attack that question, I guess. <laughs> And yeah, I think it'll be a good one. <laughs> if people could develop it enough. Yeah, that's it's what I'm curious about too. I, I think it's it has its like I don't know if I want to say objective benefits, but I can I can see how it could help, you know? I can see how getting used to no friction and especially tension, right? Um especially tension, it can help with balancing that. And I've found using the Skypad 4, I've had to become very aware of how I use tension while tracking, but if I go back to the zero after using the Skypad 4 and getting a, hold, like getting a hold of my attention and all that stuff, would I be a better aimer? You know, that's the question. Um, or, you know, if I stayed on the Skypad 4 and fully mastered it to get the most out of its lower friction, would I be a better aimer? I don't know. Um, which is what makes the video so interesting to me because I don't have the answers to these questions right now. And it's always nice when I go into a video and I don't know um like what my answer is going to be straight away it's a cool feeling because you know the muscle memory video the aim training video when i started working on it i knew like what my answer was going to be this is a bad fight 
Oh, and I get away with it. <laughs> uh, could you publish your VODs on Twitch? I have a second channel on YouTube. I'm going to re-upload all my VODs there. Um, it's... Oh, do I have it linked anywhere here? Like, on my... I don't think so. I'll, I'll link it for you in a sec. Yeah, I made a second channel. It'll have all my Twitch VODs. It has Kovacs VODs on it at the moment, as well as, like, uh, re-uploads of all my Twitter stuff, because I know, like, Twitter quality is just terrible. <laughs> um... In my head, I assume it raises the ceiling of aim. Yeah, I agree. I agree. I don't think um, it can be answered in a yes, no. My experience with the shitting Kai so far actually has been that I have gotten better mouse control from using it. Um, but it, like... Another one of the reasons why this is so hard to say is that the speed of a mouse pad and the amount of, like, control you have on a mouse pad are not directly negatively correlated. So... A mouse pad can be really, really fast and more controllable than a different, also really, really fast mouse pad. Um, from other factors like, you know, surface texture, uh, foam density, that kind of thing. It doesn't directly correlate um, which is another thing I want to discuss in that video. How do you think your aim would be if you played mud pad really slow pad? I actually bought a QCK the other day, <laughs> which is, you know, the CSGO player pad. I have to use it for a week if I want to add it to my mouse pad speed sheet because I use them all for a week to get like a, a you know, past the break-in period. Um, and yeah, I'll, I'll use that for a week and see how it goes. If it's interesting, I'll make a tweet about it. Um, yeah, I have a few Kovacs playlists in my Discord server, so uh, there's a resources channel and you can find most of like the public stuff I've made there. Something to note though is that I don't actually play playlists myself. What I do when I'm really trying to like get better at things is I will... I will vod read myself in real time, so like from this play session, I've noticed that I'm too harsh on my adjustments. I'm still too tense. And my flicks are not stable because I'm releasing my tension um, too late into the flick. So if I were, you know, trying to grind out improvement, I would pick out some Kovac scenarios that address those issues and play them tonight after this and then see if I've improved on those issues tomorrow. That's kind of how I've always approached it. I don't really play playlists. I feel like they can lead to Absent-minded training. Which is better than no training, but, you know, not ideal. Uh, current monitor. I have the Asus uh, 280Hz 24-inch one. It's fine. <laughs> I've been looking at getting one of those crazy, like, 1440p 480Hz OLED display monitors, but there's so much money. Do you create content for a living? Uh, 24 inch, sorry if I misspeak. Uh, I am basically fresh out of high school, so I'm doing this for a gap year of sorts. And you know, if it works, I'll do it full time. If it doesn't, I won't. <laughs> we'll, we'll find it out. Uh, we'll find it out later. I don't know if I'd call it full time. It is what I'm dedicating all of my time to right now. I don't really like have a job outside of this, so yeah. Has it aimed labs playlist? No. How old are you? No, it's not a secret. I just turned 19 uh, half a month ago. Um, I saw a question, I think it was from you, Grandma, about branching out. Uh, would you mind pasting that again? Because I missed it, I'm sorry. <laughs> per se but would you explore stuff outside of that? Absolutely. Um, I've been feeling a little bit restricted I guess by this being my niche. Um, I mean you heard my <laughs> my Fallout New Vegas ramble. Um, my The first video I ever made uh, on YouTube 
was a retrospective on Prey. I would have been 14 years old when I made it. Um, and it was terrible, as all first YouTube videos are, but I still love that game. And I want to do it justice with a better video, so... You know, you might see a video about the level design of Prey at some point from me. <laughs> and that'll be my uh, test of how good or bad I am at making videos not directly about gaming and aim training and stuff like that. I'm on the Skypad 4. No way I killed the Skype. <laughs> oh, that's unfortunate. <laughs> Teammates got him, Shelly. What's the process behind packaging thumbnails and title? Uh, throw stuff at the wall and see what works. I'm not good at thumbnails or titles. They're my worst um, elements of making videos for sure. Because I'm worried about like clickbaiting. I don't want to clickbait. I don't want to mislead. <laughs> um... And I still want to make it like interesting to cl to click on, you know. I want to make a compelling hook, but I don't want to mislead people into clicking on my videos. So there's not really a lot of thought behind it. But with every video, I go into it thinking, what question do I want to attack with this um, video? You know. So with this one, um, it's like. Uh, what are the differences between the Skypad 4 primary question and then the secondary question or goal is like how can I address misconceptions about glass mouse pads in this video while making it feel as though I'm just talking about the Skypad 3 versus 4. <laughs> um, for the last video I made it was like how can I address the misconception that aim training doesn't uh, help after a certain rank. That was what I really wanted to kind of tackle with that one. Um, and yeah, that's kind of how I structure my videos. And then I do the thumbnails last, but I'll typically have a title in mind either before I start making the video or like very soon after I start making the video. I'm dead now. No. Am I getting chased by two? I think I hear two. Thank you, Fork. Yeah, that's my second channel. That video was fire. Thank you. It's, um, yeah, it's definitely my best work. <laughs> My mouse isn't the OP1WE, by the way. I've changed it since, as usual. I'm on the OP18K. Um, the wired version of that mouse. Same shape, though. Game reviews. Um, yeah, maybe. I, I, I want to do discussions about games in one way or another. I don't know if it'll be through the framing of a review, because it seems kind of restrictive to... You know, if someone clicks on a review, they want to hear about... How does, like, is the story good? Is the game fun? Is it, like, do you recommend this game? And having that, that framing seems kind of restrictive if I want to talk about, you know, like with Prey, uh, the level design is woven into the story. The, the space station you're on in the game is set, uh, like it started built by the Soviets in the 1960s. It was bought by the US and then gradually was built on and on and on and that's why the designs in the game are so varied because you have you know 1960s era soviet sections of the space station you have 2000s kind of sections that look like our space stations in the real world and then you have um more futuristic stuff that have been built on top of that with the goal of making it not feel like a space station um And I want to kind of talk about that, but that doesn't really fit into the structure of a review. Does it 
does it bolster the story? No, not really. It's a cool detail. Um, does it make the gameplay better? No, not really again. <laughs> um, but yeah, but that's what I want to talk about with Prey, how its level design is uh, tied in with its story. No, I don't want to die. How its level design is kind of tied in with its story and lore, and um, yeah, how they cooperate and work together in cool ways. Because the enemies force you to pay attention to that world, which I think is really clever, but again, if I make a video about this, I will discuss it more. If not, I won't. <laughs> this is a final stream, not a <laughs> prey stream. I might just go deposit. I'm happy. I got my 40 and you know. <laughs> Oh, wait, that counted as a death? <laughs> God damn it. <laughs> oh, no, I got it. Okay. Nice. I'm happy with that. <laughs> Thanks for the follow, Zombie Chan, Linkstar, Nene812, and I Blanket. What do you want to know? <laughs> Uh, which mode do you play in the finals? I really like Bank It. It's what I'm playing here. It's like constant action. Really, really fun. <laughs> uh, you should probably do ASMR. I probably won't. I've had a few people say this to me before and it's, yeah, very flattering, but I don't, I don't know how I'd feel about doing that. <laughs> so. Want to play? Uh, probably not at the moment, Pickle. Maybe later. You should try ranked. I am torn <laughs> about ranked in this game. I'm very torn because I know, like, I really like the shooting. I really like the mechanics. I really like the chaos. Ranked kind of encourages turtling from what I've seen. Uh, Suppress, are you still here? I saw you earlier. Um, Suppress is really good at the game and plays ranked. Uh, he can probably talk a bit more about it, um, but yeah, it, it doesn't, I don't know, I don't want to ruin a fun game for me by taking it seriously. <clears throat> what mouse grips do you use? These uh, come with the OP1 AK. I think they're a collaboration with like lizard skins. I suggested ASMR. Oh no, 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 like shade at you or anything. I, I know it's not like a, a weird thing for a lot of people, but... Yeah. I just hit diamond. Oh, congrats. It's not bad, but you need a three stack. Yeah, that was kind of the vibe I got. And I don't really have a three stack of Aussies and, uh, you know. <laughs> are those dot skates good for cloth mouse pad? I, they're fine. These are obsidian, like, normals. Um, I prefer jade dots. I think they're better. I hit it solo and it was draining. Yeah, that sounds like a nightmare. I wouldn't do it. <laughs> we need customs. Okay, hear me out, everyone. <laughs> if I was to try and get in contact with the devs to set up customs, who would be down to join? Because I was thinking about it. <laughs> I don't know, I'm still a relatively small creator, but maybe, you know, for the launch of season uh, season two or something, they might be keen. I don't know. What's the server location? I'm on Asia right now. I would probably play NA and host it in NA. Because it's, you know, I would get really crappy ping, but like everyone else would get okay ping. <laughs> Whereas if I host it in Asia, Europe can't play and America is getting pretty bad ping. <laughs> I would love to. Oh, um, how far are you from NA? I'm close to Tokyo. Yeah, so you wouldn't get too bad to NA either. I don't think. I get about 220. Um, 
Which isn't like ideal, but it's not unplayable, I want to say. I felt worse. <laughs> Yeah, we could all queue at the time uh, at the same time, but you know, I I don't know if we'd all end up in the same lobby. I still get games pretty quick when I play on NA. I did not think that guy would be there. I get like two hundred. Uh, where are you from? What is your settings in this game? I play all low with a few optimizations done in Nvidia Inspector to make it look a bit worse. Um, worse visually, cleaner visually as well though, so it's a trade-off. Adapings.com, 60 Tokyo. Oh yeah, I don't know why, um, like, routing is so bad by default. I don't know how the ISPs screw it up so much. In Apex, when I try and play without a VPN, I get, like, 300 to Tokyo. <laughs> um... And when I play with the VPN, I get 120, I think. I don't know how they mess it up so bad. Uh, do you use jade.skates with your shooting kai? No, but only because my shooting kai is in extra soft and I can feel the skates like sink into the mouse pad a bit, um, which doesn't feel like it would be good. Like I can feel like the side of the mouse scratch against the mouse pad because of how much it has sunk in. And I, I feel like that has got to be bad for the mouse pad, you know? <laughs> That was really silly. <laughs> um, genuine question, because the hype isn't worth getting if you want it, okay? It depends what you value in a mouse. Uh, for me, no regrets. The performance is noticeably better. Somehow, again, like the OP ones, uh, WE performance is really good, but like, yeah, somehow the OP1 AK is noticeably better for me. Um, and I don't think this is just the placebo thing. Like most top aimers I've spoken to have said like, yeah, this feels a lot better than most nice I've tried. Um, and the clicks are night and day better. I, I had a bit in my, did he just pull himself up? I had a bit in my OP1 uh, WE video where I talk about the clicks in a bit more detail and how they were just too heavy for me on dynamic or when I would play Valorant or stuff like that. Am I actually gonna get away with this? Okay. Um, and it completely fixed it. Um, and yeah, it's really cheap. <laughs> like for a mouse of this quality, it's the cheapest you'll find it. So yeah. I have no regrets, but if you don't care about the heavier clicks and you don't really care about the performance, or maybe like you only have a 144 hertz monitor, you don't think you'll notice it, or you can't run 8K in most games because I don't know, Windows 10 old CPU, Maybe it's not worth it, but yeah, it really just depends if the performance benefits sound interesting to you and you want to like have better clicks with the same shape. I should have reloaded. Thanks for the follows. Iaki, Parafor, Dives, Greek, Val. I'm missing a few. I know it. I'll scroll down. Hang on. Um. Paul it's our aims. Sorry, I butchered that. <laughs> um, and not Jacob Blow and Juanilo. Juanilo? I'm so sorry. I'm like butchering everyone's names today. <laughs> Thank you all for the follows. I really appreciate it. Can't wait for more videos. Yeah, I, I hope. Um, I hope that was useful. I hope that was a good answer. Um, yeah. I'm glad you're liking the OP1 then. Smell, spell my nickname. No. Uh, F Q M A N E underscore. There you go. <laughs> Hi, Cupcake. This guy's a maniac. You can see a little bit of my shake on the Skypad 4 whenever I go for those flicks. It's funny. Oh, hey, Ixie. <laughs> I forgot I made you mod. Welcome. 
I didn't know anything in English. Yeah, it's a good name. I like it. F key main. I'm just gonna do this. <laughs> <laughs> oh no, he didn't explain. <laughs> oh, that's what I deserve. <laughs> Wait, does he pull up now? Please? No! <laughs> Worth a try. Worth a try. I should try it. My last purchase was the Lens at Lenses 4K. That came out a while ago, right? Or did you like get it recently? What do you have your resolution scaling method? Uh, I have... Oh, my... TAAU at 100. It's like the least... Anti-aliased method. <laughs> I found the other ones all felt a little bit blurry. Oh no, it's a double heavy team. Oh no. Oh, I missed. <laughs> I got so lucky. Frank keyboard. I am swapping between the Wooting and Polar 65 Neo Tokyo. My Wooting is uh, very modded though. Is he staying? No. Gonna airstrike this guy. Yeah, yeah, waiting. Um, I have done like basically every mod you can do to it. I think the only stock component is the PCB. <laughs> And I, I don't think I'm exaggerating when I say that. I'm pretty sure that's all that's left of my original Wheating. I grinded BT Season 3 to Diamond Complete. I got denied. Oh, well, I'm glad it was easier. And yeah, sorry. I guess I should have made that clear in my video that it's like an old uh, bench season and that they don't accept that anymore for ranks and stuff. Uh, does the finals put your CPU to a lot in task manager? Let's have a look. Uh, no. <laughs> ah, it's, it's using like 50%, but it's got a lot of background stuff running. I'm encoding off of my uh, iGPU right now in my CPU. So yeah, I don't, uh, my like system is super GPU bottlenecked. I don't need to max out my CPU because like having it run this game at 100 would not do anything for my performance. Mine's like 45. It just depends on your system balance, you know. You'll always have a bottleneck somewhere. Yours would be with your GPU then. Much love. Thanks for helping me get a better inside and team training. No worries. No worries at all. It's, um, you know, what I set out to do with my channel, so I'm glad I've been able to, to help as many people as I have. did get better anyways. True, it's it's what I found going back to season four actually. That like it it just wasn't as um can I not do that? Really? I thought I thought for sure. There we go. Yeah, I found it not too tough to get back to, you know, different benchmarks, other scenarios. My scores went up across the board. Which, you know, to be expected I suppose. You get better aim, you'll have better aim. <laughs> Forgetting I have recon. Monkey type run after this game? Uh, maybe. 
I'm not on the keyboard I use for it at the moment, actually, so... Oh, actually, Exu, I got my, um... Almost got to my goal of, of 160, uh, for a minute. I knew I had someone. What? Yeah. You'll see that? What was that? <laughs> what? Where'd they go? <laughs> My macro distance is slow. Um, Air Angelic is really good, as well as like Pokeball hipfire scenarios. They just kind of force clean but quick micros with good lines. So it sounds like what you're looking for. <laughs> you're breaking. Oh no! Sorry, I didn't realize my mic was peaking. <laughs> Yeah, I kind of use a different keyboarding game. I really like the Polo 65 in terms of um, typing feel and like sound. Um, but like, oh my god, its switches are so much heavier than the Wooting that I feel like it's got more delay, even though I don't actually know if it has more delay. Uh, what skate are you using? These ones, Obsidian uh, Non Pros. from X-ray pad, if I remember correctly. Oh, I was gonna go try and depot that. My micro, okay, I answered that one. 149 yesterday, nice. That's really good, honestly. Are you a believer that your whole outside of gaming affects performance? Yes. Yes. Um, I think, especially mentally, when you're doing well mentally. Um, oh, does everyone have an ad? Say hi in the chat if you have an ad. <laughs> Alright, I am going to go to the main menu now. That was fun. Good. We played well. <laughs> um, okay. Uh, I keep having stutters in the finals. Is there a fix for that? It's probably CPU utilization based. Uh, what you can do is you can go into this program called Process Lasso. And it's like this. You can find the finals. I think it is called... Oh god, where is it? <laughs> where is it? Where is it? Uh, I can't find it. Active processes. Here? No? Discovery.exe. That's it. And you go CPU affinity, current, disable CPU zero. And you go always, disable CPU zero. Uh, CPU priority, always high. And that will uh, tell your computer to, you know, give all its resources to the game and should hopefully clear up that micro stutter. Uh, what's the status on your Voltaic coaching? I have gotten one client. <laughs> um, I haven't fully started yet, but I am accepting clients. If you fill out the form and put, you know, preferred coach viscose, um, I will see it and, you know, I'll, I'll try. <laughs> I'll try and accept as many as I can. It's not cheap, but it's not only for pros. It's just like the price is high because it is a lot of work for us. And, um, you know, we want to keep that quality high and we want to uh, make sure it's only people who are serious about, you know, aim training and practicing and all that stuff. Have you tried the U2? What's the U2, sorry? What's the price? Can I, can I tell you a secret? I don't, I don't know. I have no idea. <laughs> Zowie you too. Oh, I haven't tried it yet, no. Game mode, XMP and bias. Thank you. XMP is another big one if you um if you don't have that uh set already. 
I couldn't change CPU to zero. There are two applications. One of them works, one of them doesn't. Uh, 250 a week? It's not 250 a week. I think it was... Oh, gosh. I, I would have to check. I would have to check. It's not 250 a week. It's not quite that much. Do you have a streaming schedule? This is my first stream in three months. That, <laughs> that should answer things. Um, what's the difference between Obsidian Pro and Non-Pro? One of them is out of, oh gosh, what's it called? UHMWE tape or something. Uh, it was a collaboration with Skypad um, and they are like black uh, in terms of color. These ones are red. These ones, in my opinion, are smoother and a little bit faster. Um, and I prefer them. Uh, did you do your process also? I don't know what properly is, so probably not. I, <laughs> I've always been the kind of person to just throw money at computer problems instead of losing my mind optimizing. <laughs> uh, what sense do you recommend on Roexel? I don't use Roexel and I don't really recommend it. I have a video about this. Um, would you play CS or Valorant using the Skypad? No. No, I've tried, uh, cannot recommend. It's really tough. Uh, I mentioned this earlier. There is two schools of thought when it comes to mousepad. 200 per week. Okay, okay. I thought it was a bit less than 250. And yeah, there is now a more casual option. I think at the bottom of the page, if you scroll down, um, you'll get like a one-on-one -on -one session as well as a coaching document, but with no follow-up uh, plans. Uh, video editing software, I use 250 for a personal one session. Okay. Uh, per core, you can probably find YouTube tutorials on it. Or you could clip and go back in the stream. Have you tried the game since Sonar? No. I was kind of burnt on glass mouse pads and I still kind of am. I, I like the Skypad 4. I like how it feels. I like using it, but like when I, when I compare my performance on this versus like the shitting Kai or something, it's not even comparable. Um, I just do better on the shitting Kai, which is a bit of a problem when, I, you know, this is a product, you know, that I want to perform well on. <laughs> do 50 for a personal. Okay, I guess that's what you're thinking of. Have I missed any questions? Um, if anyone has any questions they want to ask, um, go for it, shoot. <laughs> I'll sit here for a bit and answer them and then end the stream. Is the shooting case smooth? Yes. At first it feels kind of like cardboard, which is a weird thing to say about a mouse pad, um, but it's definitely smooth. It's probably the, the smoothest mouse pad I've used besides like the Fnatic Jet and Vansa Ace and all that. Um, yeah, very smooth, especially after a bit of use. Kind of gross, you know, surface gets oils in it and stuff and it gets smoother and with time. Um, TikTok pad, haven't haven't tried it. op one ak vs op one Domui. This is better in every way besides the wire, but like the performance is so much better. The clicks are so much better. Um, yeah, it's great. Uh, do you with subs? I've been meaning to get some sub rewards set up, but I don't know what I would do. Um, and I probably can't queue with most of you because I'm Australian. Um, stock skates versus aftermarket. I always put aftermarkets on every time. Um, they're just better. Any tips for shaky aim? A bit too general of a question. Like lots of different kinds of shaky aim. Uh, generally, it just comes from lack of practice though. But again, like I can't really answer that in too much detail. Because, you know, they could be shaky when flicking, shaking when tracking. It could be shaky on micro adjustments, you know, you gotta be a bit more more specific, I think. Uh, where do you buy your skates? I got these off of AliExpress actually. <laughs> you can find legitimate resellers for X ray pad skates. I bought a lot of um X ray pad jades and X ray pad obsidian stuff of there for really, really cheap, so Uh, they say the glide is smooth, but when disclose what the material is or the manufacturer, they sell it. That's weird. <laughs> That's really weird. 
um, shaky tracking. Yeah, you're probably not confident in your ability to track um, a specific target. So you're over tensing. This is something I've seen in a few people where they tense way too much, whether that's in their wrist or their elbow. Um, they will tense way too much because they feel like they need to for that control. You don't. Your tracking will get worse if you over tense and uh, you don't want to rely on it because it will lead to, yeah, long, long term shaky aim. <laughs> Uh, favorite game that's not an FPS. I have to think about this. <laughs> uh, the Long Dark or Prey? Or honestly, New Vegas? Any of those three are really, really good. Oh, hey Tom. <laughs> I'm going good. Uh, I'm just about to end the stream, unfortunately, but um, if you want to catch up, you can message me afterwards. I have good flicks but bad micro adjustments. Any tips? Uh, purely practice. For me, what helped most with um, micro adjustments was super, super concentrated scenarios like air angelic full voltaic, air angelic generally, um, air voltaic bot two or bot eight uh, or bot seven, sorry. Uh, all of them really force you to be super aware of your tension in micro adjustments and you get way more like <clears throat> uh, reps, I guess, because you know, bots moving side to side, every one of those movements is a micro, whereas in static, you're flicking and then microing, flicking and then microing. It's super concentrated and punishes you a lot harder than static does, in my opinion, for over adjusting. Um, how many hertz do you have in your monitor? 280. Team Eternal, that game is awesome. I love it. <laughs> I've streamed it a few times, actually. Uh, what else we got? I feel stuck in static clicking. Static is a tough one because a lot of it is just grinding it out. The biggest two things for me for getting myself over a barrier were, I would say dynamic pacing. So um, you have a lot of people, you watch their VODs and it's like, bam, 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 bam. Um, you want your pacing to be really dynamic. You want it to be varied and very based on where the targets are. You have a cluster of four, you want to go really fast. You have two really wide ones, you want to take more time on the micro adjustment to make sure you don't miss. Um, and the other thing is focusing on under flicking or trying not to over flick. Under flicking isn't ideal, obviously. You want to land right on, but it's the easiest way to minimize over flicking, which is really bad because, you know, you under flick, you do this movement and then this movement, right? Flick micro. It's the same direction. You don't have to exert any extra force. It's just up again. <laughs> Whereas if you over flick, you have to do this movement and then this movement. That change in direction, not only does it force you to overcome the mouse pad static friction, so it's a physically harder movement to make, um, you're changing direction. That was a really big one for me as well. Uh, would you recommend getting open when I can switching from GPX? Yeah. <laughs> I don't usually give just like a flat out recommendation. Yeah, if you're looking for a new mouse from the GPX, yeah, definitely. Especially with, you know, hand size like mine. I think you'll like it. What 280 hertz do you have? I have the Asus 24.5 inch one. I can't remember what it's called. Um, which funnels are more optimized? Honestly, it's doing pretty well for what it's like. This game is calculating things. No other FPS game has to calculate and it's still running like decently. It's just a shame that, you know, you can't get like 200 always like you can in other games. Oh, Massey, I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm so sorry. <laughs> I'm going to end it like right now. <laughs> yeah, I'm, I'm doing the post post gaming chatting bit of the stream. <laughs> oh, sorry, man. Sorry. <laughs> <laughs> oh yeah follows shit um thanks for the fo uh follows Androbot, faded reaper infamous Ufidian, and loosen four thank you and pyrox plays 
And Serenity, thank you for the sub. I can't remember if I already thanked you for this, but yeah. Thank you again if I have. <laughs> I spent two hours farming static. No! Did you get 170 again at least? Oh, well, I, I just did. There you go, and I'll say it again. Thank you. <laughs> Sorry, my... um. My second monitor, I haven't got it set up properly, so I, I have like three alerts visible, so I'll miss some. Got a stream more? Yeah, definitely. I'm, like I said, I'm blown away by the support on this one. I, I have nothing to say, but thank you. <laughs> it's been, you know, flattering and I wasn't expecting this kind of reception, especially, you know, this, this game isn't too popular anymore, um, relatively. So when I streamed it last, then I'm still, you know, getting a, a lot of people to stop by and say hi. I really do appreciate it. And yeah, no one is allowed to gift subs to the channel. Outlawed. <laughs> I'm not letting anyone else. Uh, did VT force you to play on aim labs? No. I, um... I don't play on Labs, and I probably won't until they fix their tracking. I'm happy to like, you know, give them advice on it, but yeah. Yeah, I'm still around 32 as well. I think in this game I'm on like 30 point, 31.5 or something, I don't know. Finals is a very fun game, yeah, I love it. All right, is there any more questions? I'll do one more, one more set of answering and then I'll probably call it. I gotta go eat. It's like four and I haven't eaten. <laughs> How many hours do you have in Kovacs? Probably 1k actually like aiming. Um, Steam says like 1.7, but I have a lot idle and making playlists and scenarios and stuff like that. Uh, how was your day today? It basically started when I started stream, but it's been good. <laughs> um... Yeah, I've had some had some good news today as well. So yeah, it's been nice. How to go how to 170, one more four TS with headache. B Massey O W. 1K aiming and 7K overall. Uh no, 1.7K overall is what Steam says. Need a light? No, I'm all good. Look at this. Oh, my camera's auto adjusting it. <laughs> what about this? <laughs> I have more time in game though, Dark, for sure. Uh, would you go from 1080 to 1440? I've been thinking about it. My dad actually has, um, he's, he plays more games than I do. <laughs> he has a 4K 60 Hertz and a 144 uh, 1440 monitor. And um, I tried them both really good, <laughs> especially like he plays PUBG. So I played a game of PUBG. Um, and yeah, it actually did help with like spawning enemies at a distance. And when I was playing Apex earlier today, I was like, you know, looking at the pixels, trying to like make out, is that an enemy or is that a little box or something? <laughs> so maybe I'll consider it, but I'd need a better PC to make it worth the FPS loss. Thanks for the follow, uh, Aeor Aeorotus? I bodged that, I'm sorry. <laughs> All right, well, if, um... If that's all the questions, which I think it is. Oh, thoughts on HSK Pro. Um, conflicted. <laughs> it's it's tough because I don't fingertip. I think the mouse has a lot of issues, but it's it's a really nice shape for fingertip uh, mice. BF1 stream, I don't think there are any games in my region. I'll have a look. Published VOD, I will. Straight away after this, gonna download it, put it on the second channel. It's gonna kill my internet for like two hours to upload it, but you know, what can you do? <laughs> um. Yeah, thanks for thanks for watching everyone. I really do appreciate it. And I'm gonna, you know, make a concentrated effort to to do this more. Um I've been meaning to for a while and I've probably said that like ten times now, but yeah, gonna gonna do my best. <laughs> thanks for watching everyone. I'll um yeah, hopefully <laughs> see you all uh soonish. <laughs>